Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sheep Street Community Day. My name is James Allard. We've ordered the sunshine, especially for today, and it seems to have worked, which is fantastic. Um, only a handful here at the moment, but we know we're expecting many more people throughout the course of the afternoon today. But it does mean if you are first here, welcome. You've got the choice over there at the barbecue, which I think is possibly going to be one of the most popular stands of the day. So please do. Grab oh, you brought your own food. Sorry. Perfectly good burgers and sausages over there. Bring your own food. Share. Well, welcome. Oh, that's good. Good stuff. Okay, so just looking around the stalls uh, for the afternoon, lots of fun stuff going on. We've mentioned the barbecue already. Directly ahead of me, we have food, drink, and ice cream, which is very important. Um, you can probably figure out what that stall is without me saying anything about it. If you're wearing stilettos, please take them off before you have a go on the Bouncy Castle. As we continue around, could you give me a, a little wave, please, if you're from the Girls' Brigade? I knew you were going to do that. The Girls' Brigade just over here, if you'd like to go and find out more about the Girls' Brigade, what they get up to, and there's some fun and games that you can get up to on the stall as well. Today is about interaction, it's not just about coming along and listening to me rabbit on for the, for the afternoon, which you'll be pleased to know I'm not going to do continually. Uh, if you'd like to have your face painted, there's some people arriving now who I think are ideal prime candidates for having their faces painted. There is a face painting stand just over here. If you want to know what ham radio is, it's nothing to do with pigs. Um, there's a stand just over there, and Paul White is going to be there in just a few minutes' time. He's going to be able to talk to you a bit more about ham radio, if you've been interested in that. We've got live entertainment on the stage for you. As you can see, just over in the corner there, Kennet Beekeepers Association. Give us a wave, Pam. If you're squeamish about bees, go over there anyway, because it's a really interesting stand. You can learn all about bees and what they get up to and how they help our environment. And also, one final stall, mustn't forget Steve. Give us a wave, Steve. And Emma, our first aid lady, don't get them muddled up. If you need first aid, see the one on the left. Throughout the course of the afternoon, in a few minutes' time, we're going to have live on stage Pete Lamb's Heartbeat, fantastic band, are going to come and entertain us for 20 minutes or so to get things started. Um, we're going to have the Centre Stage Academy of Dance performing for us at about quarter past one this afternoon in the centre of the, uh, the grass area. Parachute games are going to be taking place later. If you've never been involved in a parachute game, big parachute stretched out in the middle of the field. You get through all sorts of funny stuff underneath it, on top of it, around it. You'll learn more about that later this afternoon. I've been asked to perform some simple samba with you to get one or two volunteers to pick up an instrument and we're going to bring the carnival atmosphere of Rio de Janeiro to Sheep Street and Devices. We are going to make it work. It's a lot of fun actually. It's very simple and it sounds really cool. More chance to hear the band again a bit later on this afternoon. Other than that, just lots of good music, lots of food, good company, and lots of fun. So, welcome. Good to see you. Um, I think, are we ready to start, Chris? Yeah, I think so. Just setting up on the stage now, this is Pete Lamb, Pete Lamb's Heartbeats. I have some info here about Pete Lamb's Heartbeats, so let me tell you, just whilst the guys are tuning up. Which one of you is Pete? There you go. Pete Lamb's Heartbeats. Pete's been playing since the 50s. You wouldn't think it, would you? He's been in many bands performing jazz, blues, country and pop. And in the early 70s, he started his own recording studio, The Music Workshop. He's recorded most local artists as well as some very well-known musicians globally as well. Alan Jones is on the drums. I'm very impressed with his setup today. Give us a wave, Alan. There we go. A true rock star wave, if ever I've seen one. Roger on bass guitar. That's the one with four strings, right? Hello, Roger. Good to see you. Roger started playing in the 60s. He's played in all sorts of bands, including rhythm and blues, rock and soul. And he once toured with a warm-up group on tour with the Rolling Stones. So this guy knows his stuff. Fantastic. And finally, Chris Stone, rhythm guitar and vocals. Chris started on drums and harmonica, also in the late 1950s. He must have been about two when he started, yeah. Uh, he joined a soul band in 1966 as a vocalist, found he liked singing, and promoted himself from the drums to vocals. Is that really a promotion? Everybody knows that the drummer is the most important man in a band. Medium rare Ladies and gentlemen, I think they're ready for us. This is Pete Lamb's Heartbeats. Yeah. 